CMS first released the hospital star ratings in 2017, an attempt to make it easier for patients to judge a hospital's quality of care. Much like a Google review, a patient visits CareCompare and sees a star rating ranging from one to five stars, with one being the worst and five being the best. Star ratings are usually updated once a year in coordination with one of the quarterly care compare measure releases, but CMS has never picked a consistent quarter to release the star ratings. In 2022, the star ratings are released with the July care compare refresh. The star rating calculation was simplified in 2021 and now is calculated in 10 steps. Step one, hospitals submit data to CMS quality programs. Hospitals submit measures to meet their requirements for these quality of programs you see on the screen. Measures are submitted at various times throughout the year. In step two, CMS identifies which measures will be used to calculate the score and for what time frames of data. CMS selects which measures they will use to make the star rating score. They also decide what the date range is that is used for performance rates. For instance, the measure PSI-4, Death Among Surgical Inpatients with Serious Treatable Complications Rate, CMS uses a hospital rate calculated from data pulled July 1, 2017 through June 30, 2019. In the description below, we put a link to an Excel sheet with the measures and date timeframes used for the star ratings calculation. In step three, CMS standardizes the measure scores. CMS will take your hospital performance on those CMS selected measures and standardize the measure score so that it makes sense in the overall equation. Think about an inverse measure where lower scores are better. You wouldn't want that score to count against a total score, so they standardize all measure scores. This method of standardizing is called z-scoring. The star rating z-score is produced by subtracting the national mean score from each hospital's performance score and then dividing that by the standard deviation across all hospitals. A standard deviation is a number that measures how far data values are from their average. This will give your hospital a standardized measure score for each measure. After the scores are standardized, step four is to put those measures into groups. There are five measure groups, mortality, safety of care, readmissions, patient experience, timely and effective care. In step five, CMS calculates the measure group score using a simple average. A simple average takes the sum of measures with equal weights and divides by the number of measures a hospital reports. For example, there are eight measures in the safety of care group. Let's say a hospital reports all eight measures. 100 divided by eight is 12.5. So each of the eight measures in this category would be worth 12.5% of the overall safety of care category score. In the example you see on screen, you can see the measure performance rate, followed by the standardized measure score, the measure weight of 12.5% for this example. Based on that measure weight, you'll see the weighted standardized measure score. Those are all added to create a total safety of care group score. Your final score is calculated according to the weight of each group. The mortality group gets 22% weight. Safety of care is 22% weight. Readmissions is 22%. Patient experience is 22%. And the timely and effective care group gets 12%. So continuing our example, you see on screen some example group scores, followed by the measure group weights, the weighted group score, and then the overall summary score. Step seven. Hospitals are excluded or their score is reweighted depending on the number of measures submitted. A hospital must report at least three measure groups with at least three measures in each group. This must include the group's mortality or safety of care in order to receive a star rating. Once the minimum measure and measure group thresholds are met, any additional measures a hospital reports would be included in the overall star rating calculation. Let's say you met the minimum threshold, but you didn't report any timely and effective care measures. That measure group is subtracted from the total. For example, the overall score is worth 100, but because you didn't submit the timely and effective care measures, you subtract the group weight of 12%. Now your overall score is only worth 88. 
Each group weight is then based on 88 instead of 100. The categories would have been worth 22%, but because the timely and effective group isn't calculated, the measures are now worth 25% of the overall score. In step eight, hospitals are put into one of three peer groups based on the number of measures they submitted. CMS believes that by grouping hospitals by how many measure groups they report, this will help capture key differences between hospitals like size, patient volume, case mix, and service mix. Larger hospitals, for example, generally submit the most measures, and smaller hospitals submit the fewest. Five measure groups submitted, four measure groups submitted, three measure groups submitted. Step nine, within the peer groups, scores are split into five groups using the k-means clustering method. Essentially, the k-means clustering is an algorithm method which aims to make hospital score results within a cluster more similar to each other than to a different cluster. And finally, for step 10, whichever group your score puts you in becomes your star rating. Since hospitals in a peer group are being compared only to each other, that means hospitals with the same score but a different peer group could receive different star ratings. And that is how CMS calculates a hospital star rating. 